Hello and welcome to RickyJordan.com. Today we're going to take a look at a, a neat little trick you can use in SolidWorks 2010 when it comes to uh, general tables especially. Uh, really it works in any table but uh, it's a neat trick for general tables. What we have here uh, to start with is a circuit summary that was pasted in from Microsoft Excel. In previous versions of SolidWorks it was much more uh, you can enter data into an Excel spreadsheet in a much more efficient manner since you could use the tab and arrow keys uh, to enter your data quickly. Uh, we avoided doing this in previous versions of SolidWorks because of, uh, or doing this in general tables because of the fact that we had to double click each cell in the general table just to enter the data. So uh, just to show what this is, you know, you click on it and move it around. It's basically an object linking and embedding type. Uh, display of the Excel spreadsheet. Now I've got it saved over in my design binder so I'm going to open it up real quick and what I'm going to do is just select the data from that table and I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. And You can see it's opening Excel inside of the SolidWorks window. I'll click outside of the table to close Excel and what I'm going to do now is go ahead and create a general table make it five columns by 13 rows and we'll place it right here now what I'm going to do this is the the the, uh, the trick here I can select the first cell and then just do a control V and paste the Excel data straight into a general table having this data inside a general table is going to allow us to to shape the table uh, as a whole much easier rather than having to go back and forth between SolidWorks and Excel. Uh, we can of course apply all the, the standard table formatting to it. Um, you can lock it now easier to anchor points, things like that. Uh, much better now to have that uh, in the SolidWorks environment. You can even show the, uh, see if I'm zoomed in close enough here, you can actually go in and show the table header. And of course uh, in this case I'll relabel that from uh, general table to circuit summary. So don't forget about that option there with tables. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much uh, the trick right there. Uh, one nice thing, or one thing to keep in mind, with this OLE based table, uh, when you would, when you create a PDF file from this, uh, just about every PDF writer I've seen, none of the text from the table is actually indexed into the PDF file for searching uh, capabilities. And when you have a SOLIDWORKS native table, all of the data is indexed into the PDF and converted for searching. So this that's another reason to use general tables now over basic Excel tables. Well, that's all for today. Stay tuned. More to come.